The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The overall aim of this, uh, this research and what was important to Oricon was to develop a, um, uh, an understanding of uh, best practices in energy and water uh, efficiency retrofitting for public buildings. And there were three parts to that research. One was understanding what's happened around the world uh, in terms of um, uh, you know, leading edge uh, examples, um, uh, in particular around financing. Uh, and then from that to develop a, um, a set of guidelines and strategies that would work for the Australian market to encourage and, and support uh, energy and water retrofitting in public buildings. Uh, and then thirdly, to understand what the barriers are and really focus in on what would it take to, uh, to remove those barriers and un unlock opportunities uh, for more rapid uh, implementation of energy and water retrofitting for public buildings. The project team implemented the project in three phases. Phase one is to undertake a very comprehensive literature review including locally, Australia, and internationally, so that to understand what are the best practice in terms of financing mechanism and retrofitting guidelines. Phase two includes conducting two workshops, one in Queensland, the other one in Western Australia, that where we invited the government officials and industry practitioners to come into the workshop to discuss what are the barriers and strategies to overcome these barriers so that to have a successful implementation of the guidelines. We need procurement models that can handle the uncertainty and risk associated with these particular projects. For example, we need to incorporate much of the principles of alliance and partnering contracting. We need to be able to handle the uncertainty or risk associated with the return on investment of these particular projects. So the main barrier we identified um, for the retrofitting industry is the lack of accessibility to um, initial uh, capital which is required for uh, retrofitting projects. Our finding shows that among others revolving loan funds provide the best um, financing option for the Australian context. The results show the introduction of a revolving loan fund in Australia dedicated only for water and energy retrofits of public buildings would lead to a, a five-fold return of investment. Our proposed retrofitting guidelines for public buildings consist of these five steps. The number one is the project planning, which includes the formation of a project team and monitoring and exploring the opportunities for energy and water savings. The next step is the selection of an energy service company, which is known as ESCO. And that selection is done mainly from a pre-qualified list. And once the ESCO is selected, then they conduct an investment grade audit and develop a business proposal, which includes the detailed cost benefit analysis and a risk assessment. And once the business proposal is approved and the contract is signed, then the ESCO they proceeds with the installation of the selected retrofit measures. And the final step includes the measurement and verification. And our research showed that active involvement from four key stakeholders is an essential requirement to successfully implement a retrofit project. If this model is successful, and we've just, uh, this can be adopted by other states, and can be a nationwide framework uh, when uh, implementing retrofitting projects. We also can create a new uh, sector where people are employed uh, retrofitting uh, buildings and that becomes a new service industry for Australia that we could potentially export overseas as well. Uh, we think the, uh, the work that they've done will go a long way uh, to creating uh, better informed policies and, and supporting uh, strategies going forward uh, to really drive uh, improved performance and, and better outcomes in the public sector.